Qatar has announced its working hours for the public sector in Ramadan. Doha and Rome discuss aid to Syria following the deadly earthquakes. Qatar Charity has organized Amra trips for orphans in Pakistan. And in sports, Qatar's U23 squad has been called up for a friendly championship. Hi, it's Fatma and you're watching The Roundup. Here are today's top stories from Qatar. Qatar's public sector employees will work five hours a day throughout the month of Ramadan, as announced by the Minister of State for Cabinet Affairs, Mohammed El Salaitli, on Monday. Working hours will officially begin from 9 a.m., ending at 2 p.m. Employees are also allowed to come in at 10 a.m., depending on whether their work requirements are met and if they complete the required five hours. Qatar and Italy discussed efforts to provide much-needed humanitarian aid to Syria following the deadly earthquakes on 6 February. The meeting came as Qatar continues to extend a helping hand to Syria and Turkey following Following the earthquakes, the worst to hit the area in a century. The meeting further touched upon the bilateral cooperation between the two countries. And now, Qatar Charity has organized their Umrah trip for 20 orphans from Pakistan as part of its Rafaqa initiative. Supervisors from Qatar Charity's headquarters and its Pakistan office accompanied the children in performing Umrah and visiting the city of Medina, among other places. Yusuf Abdullah Al-Khalifi, general supervisor of the Rafaqa initiative, said the orphans who participated in the trip were selected based on their excellence in memorizing the Holy Quran, their academic achievement, and discipline. And finally, Qatar's under-23 coach Bruno Pinero called up his 23 man squad that will partake in the International U23 Friendly Championship, which will be hosted by the Qatar Football Association later this month. Competing in a regional roundhouse, Qatar will contend alongside a number of countries in the region. Held across Qatar stadiums, the Young Stars will kick off their campaign on the 22nd of March against the UAE at Abdullah bin Khalifa Stadium in Al Dhahil. That's it for me today. For more stories, head over to our website, dohanews.co, and make sure to download our app for your daily updates.